everybody. Um, it's a new meme. This is a, a new meme that I just came up with a week ago. Um, I I don't know if anybody's made a meme like this, but um, I thought it would be a good thing to talk about for voice actors. Basically, it's about what your very first impressions on voice acting were when you started voice acting. Yeah, I have about seven questions here, and when I'm done, you can go ahead and make your own meme and answer them yourself. I've just rolled out, you know, like, important questions for us to answer, and let's get started. Question number one, what was your first impression as a new voice actor or actress? My first impression was that I remember noticing the same names in like every fan dub that they ever done and I was thinking, oh my god, these people must be amazing. They're in everything. I see them everywhere and there's no way I would ever get up to that level and I'm never going to get into this community. And I was intimidated, to be honest. Um, I never thought that I would ever get up to quote-unquote that level. Um, because I thought everybody was so awesome. But, you know what the funny thing is? Those people who I'm talking about are my friends now. So that's very interesting that how that all came together. That was my first impression was that I was just really intimidated and I couldn't in a million years ever think that I would ever be up on that level. Question number two, were you intimidated by other VAs? I pretty much answered that, but yes, I was. Um, I, cause like I said, I didn't ever think that I would become friends with them. I never thought that I would ever succeed in this community and, um, like the voice acting alliance in the YouTube voiceover community. Just because I thought everybody was just so up there and awesome. So, yeah, I was intimidated. <laughs> Question number three, what were your hopes and fears? <sighs> I think every voice actor and actress would have the same fears, maybe, um, and hopes. Well, my hopes were that, you know, I would hope that I had get cast in something, because that's like, it's like acting in general is a win-win situation. You get hired for something or you don't you know it's just it's like i don't know how to explain it but it's just like it's up to luck i guess uh, in talent um but yeah that you would hope that you get cat you get picked in something and that you hope that you won't have to wait like months and months on end to get picked for something and get cast in something what were your fears my fears were just basically that that maybe i wouldn't <laughs> get cast anything um and maybe and maybe i wasn't good enough or something or maybe nobody would like my voice those are just like the things like the little tiny things that beginner voice actors vas in general would fear i guess so i guess that was mine question number four were you shy or confident <sighs> i was shy because well why wouldn't i be shy it's just Basically, I am a shy person. Even though I went, I actually, surprised I actually stepped my foot into the community or just, and was just like, hi, I'm here to audition. And I actually went out and auditioned like crazy. I was shy. I barely spoke to anyone. As much as I wanted to like reach out to community and connect and network with other voice actors, I was shy. But over time, I guess how I actually started talking to people is that I started talking to people who were cast in the same projects that I was cast in. And then when I came up with like my own projects to do, they they introduced me to other people they knew. And that's how we became friends and that's how I kind of got out of my shell and voice acting shell, I guess. <laughs> So, um, yeah, I was shy, but at the same time, yes, I was confident because I knew that I could do this. I knew I could act, and not to toot my own horn, I knew that I was talented. So, yes, I was confident and shy at the same time. Question number five, did you start auditioning right away, or did you wait it out and observe and learn from other voice actors and actresses? <laughs> like I said, being shy and confident at the same time, 
As ironic as it sounds, I went out and auditioned right away. I didn't hesitate. I think it's because prior to voice acting, I've auditioned before in acting in general, so it wasn't like new territory to go out and audition and for different projects. So yeah, I, yes, I auditioned right away. <laughs> Number six, have you made any crazy friends for voice acting? Yes, I have. Blue and Sorrow and HLMI. Oh, yes, I have. You guys are nuts like me. And I'm happy. And in the praxis, everybody is crazy. Everybody I know who I've met are crazy, okay? I don't need to name you guys off because you know who you are. I, um, anybody who knows me as a VA friend, you're crazy because you're my friend. Let's just put it that way, okay? Because I can get random and hyper, and if you can tolerate that and be my friend, you are crazy, okay? Last but not least, give your VA friends a shout out. Okay, let's start. Who should I start with? Okay, in no particular order. I'm just doing this off the top of my head, okay, guys? Blue Sterex, Cyrus Rocks for Life, HLM Act Triple I, Praxis Six Seven Eight, Chris and Justin, Happy Emo Kid, and I'm sorry if I'm forgetting someone. I don't think I am. I've not met very many people yet. Yeah. Um, if I've forgotten you, I'm sorry. I don't think I have. Um. <laughs> so yeah, those are my shoutouts. Um, but like I said. I'll put you in the little info box and link your channels. And this has turned into a very long meme, unless I, 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 I'm sorry. I really didn't mean to ramble. I tend to ramble on these things. I like to talk, I like to record, and I like just talking. So, um, I will end this now before it turns into 15 minutes and 12 or whatever but anyway um i will talk to you guys later see you guys later or whatever and do more dubs and do more voice acting because i need to and post more stuff and stuff so i'll talk to you guys later or see you later bye